hello friends in this video we are going to learn about how to test a PIR sensor in the previous video I have explained what is PIR sensor and what are the application of the PIR sensor the components of the PIR sensor the internal circuit diagram of the PIR sensor in this video we are going to test the PIR sensor so this is the circuit which is required to test the PIR sensor. The elements of the circuit are some jumper wires, a LED and a 5 volt battery. And of course you need a PIR sensor. So these are the three terminal of the PIR sensor. This is VCC which is which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Here you see I have connected VCC of the PIR sensor to the positive terminal of the battery and this is the data line so data line is connected to the P terminal of the LED if you don't understand how to identify the P and N terminal of the LED then I have done a video on it so I will put the link of the video in the description follow the video and you will understand how to identify P and N terminal of the LED so data line is connected in series with the P terminal of the LED and this is the ground terminal of the LED sorry this is the ground terminal of the PIR sensor so the ground terminal of the PIR sensor is connected in series with N terminal of the LED now I have connected negative terminal of the battery which is black wire to the N terminal of the LED if you don't know uh, how to uh, connect different element in series or parallel on the breadboard then I have done a video on it and I have I will put the description I will put the link of the video in the description so this is the whole connection so as I connected my battery to the PIR sensor, so here you have to put a caution as you connected whole, uh, whole circuit and again I recommended that you have to test the connections as I saying. The positive terminal of the PIR sensor or the VCC of the PIR sensor should be connected with the positive terminal of the battery and the ground terminal of the PIR sensor is connected to the ground terminal of the battery and the data line of the PIR sensor should be connected with P terminal of the LED and the N terminal of the LED will be connected to the ground terminal of the battery if you are so confused then I will put the circuit diagram link on uh, description so this is the connection now as I wave my hand in front of PIR sensor the LED will on and as I remove my hand the LED will be off. So this is the simple testing of the PIR sensor. Some of some may be uh, find a problem while testing the PIR sensor. The, so you have to first set the PIR sensor as I set my PIR sensor like this. So to explain it I have to remove the PIR sensor from the circuitry you have to put the range slider and the sensitivity slider at the maximum range then you have to put the jumper to H mode which is retriggering mode you have to put this to H mode here you see I have put these to the H mode so if you find some difficulties to test the PIR sensor uh, then do this and then test according to uh, the circuit diagram that I have explained so this is set so if you find any uh, problem while testing the PIR sensor let me know I will help you in that so if you like my videos then like it share it and comment down below thank you so much